Good day YouTubers and welcome to Moonshine Vapor and another hardware review. And today we're looking at the new iJoy VPC kit diamond. It's a pops pod system that will accommodate three different pod systems to use on this particular mod. Which I find very very interesting indeed. Um, the mod is a 45 watt mod Comes in a range of colours Let me just see how we've got All these finishes by the way come in the mirror finish So we've got um, black stainless steel Mirrored black, mirrored white Mirrored gunmetal Mirrored rainbow, mirrored blue, mirrored red Mirrored purple, green Mirrored gold, orange and pink. So I've got a big range of colours for this particular device. Okay, so that's where you go in the packaging. Right the way. Nice wooden looker box that they send out with a mug in it. And that's what you've got inside the box that was the pod itself I'm sure I've already got juice in it already ready to rock and roll I've just juiced it up nice little silicon cup to protect the pod system itself so when you get spares of these you should probably just put that in your pocket and nothing should come out of that whatsoever 2 mil capacity got your 510 cap to hold that or cup or you want to call it and then you've got the mod itself in the box you get a lanyard put around your neck USB charging cable and also your adapter for the other pod systems that are available on the market now. Okay, what's in there? And you get your warranty and all the rest of the usual bits and pieces inside the box. Now on this card, pod mod, pod mode, sorry, uses tips for VPC on Unipod, sorry, let's get that right in my mouth properly. And on here it's got uh, voltage settings for VGPG liquids. So, for example, 5050s use at 3.3 volts, uh, 80, what's that? 6040 juices, you can run that at 3.5 volts, and 7030, you can run anywhere between. 3.7 and 3.6 volts. That's a good look at Andy thing that have that is. Okay. So that's what you get in your box. Put that away. Right. Now for the device itself. It's tiny man. You get a little landlord to put your lanyard hook on to there. You can see. If I put this up against the other pod system, you can see how tiny this baby is. Put it against the breeze too. Okay, so there's a comparison of the size of this baby, yeah. Now, you can take the battery out of this device by I'm taking out these two screws here and then obviously this with a diamond piece here, the cover is glued on so once you peel that off the screws behind it to get into the battery if you need to take that battery out and to get it replaced at some time down the road Let's take this out 
turn the device five clicks to turn it on one two three four five that's why it lights up and let me just show you before I put this pod on what it looks like with berserk on, on board It's a very versatile mod for 45 watts. There's a lot of little small devices, 22 millimeter devices. You can run on here, no problem. That's what it looks like with that baby on top. And when I'm running this, I only run this up. The maximum is 19 watts. So with this battery pack here, I can't go wrong. It is a nice setup as you can see. Okay, and I'm gonna use the Vape Fly Galaxy, put that on top of there too, just to give you an idea. Nice, pretty device, can't go wrong. There's no overhang whatsoever. So you've got a lot of different options you can run this device on. Now, let me just go through. Let's go to the adapter. Now this is your, five, your 510 that your pod will sit into. You see the contacts on the bottom there. Gold plate, your 510 pin at the bottom. And then you've got this little adapter for using the dual pods dual pods uh, miley pods and dual pods that right now dual yeah dual pods miley pods and there's another pod as well i can't remember what it's called that fits this adapter and no problem whatsoever it's a shame i haven't got any number of pods here to sort of put in so that's what you do, you just slide that inside like that. And then you just sit down nice inside it. And then your pod just goes plug straight into there and away you go. And the good thing about having a, this kind of diamond baby is the battery life you have when you put the extension mods, pod sorry, into this device here. And it's like my and the mother ones, I haven't got a great battery power. This is a 1400 milliamp battery that goes in this baby here. So that's the big difference. So the mother pods don't run that, that high in wattage. So you can put that pod into here, screw them in like so, and you'll be nice. Okay. that baby back out um, menu three clicks to get into the menu one two three just showing the optimizer one two three you know? and then you got different pods preset systems you've got uh you've got puff counter reset you've got power mode and you've got your pod system there that you can run into if you click on the pod system and then just go you can move the, the voltage up and down for that baby when it's on there but you've got preset settings on this device for them other three pods so you really once you've set it up and you've gone to the into the pod mode you're not going to be able to adjust the wattage because the preset wattage for the coils are sitting in them other pods which is a good thing as well so you've got a lot of different options you can jump into with this baby. Um, what we've got here, power mode. Flip the power mode, you get the wattage come up, as you can see. I'm not sure you can quite see, that's 45 watts there. So I'll just turn that down. I'll put it down to about 10 watts. Yeah, 10 watts gonna start to vape this baby at. You can reset your 
puff count as well back to zero no problem so that's back down to 10 watts which is recommended for this pod system here the VPC pod now they recommend to run this pod between 10 and 15 watts You see the contacts in the bottom there and you can see it's marked up the VPC pod you need two contacts you're just going to make contact with that inside there like so and put this baby in place and there it is it's full glory. Just pop straight in. Okay. Now uh, it's a bit rocky. The pod is inside the five ten cap or cup, if you want to call it. But it's not going to come out. You know what I mean? Nice. Right, so have a quick vape on this baby. Straight at the box. Got it on 10 watts. Let's have a vape, so what this vape is all about. Mmm, flavour is pretty decent. It's got a nice throat stuff that as well. I'm using some of these blue raz. Really nice juice. I've added more nicotine, it's a 3 ml nicotine, but I've added some more nicotine to the bottle to try to boost it up to 6. Yeah, man, I'm just cracking this up to about 12 watts. Yeah, go on to 12 watts, it's baby. It does go up in one increments as well. Yeah, on that 12 watts. Yeah, man, that's nice. Get a nice throat hit off that. I'm impressed. But for me, I think where this little 45 watt mod kicks out is the fact that you know it's versatile with three other different pods on the system. I wish they'd have made another adapter to accommodate other other uh, pods out there on the market. But the mod is a bit further on down the road. All you gotta do is just buy the adapter for you to use different pod systems in this setup, which I think is really is a good idea. And not only that, like I says, I can use look at RTAs on there as well, which would be quite nice. Nice and stuff. I mean, this thing just disappears in my hand. Nice look of weight to it. Let's put this landlord on it. Let's see what this is all about. Put him in here. Fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me. Put this baby through here. Clip this piece back into the controller. And then we've got a nice little lanyard. Fit a judge around your neck while you're out doing what you're doing. But like it says, does fire straight away, there's no lag in it. Not 12 watts, I'm getting decent mm. flavour. And a good look of throat off it as well. I 
today have it the diamond hydro diamond vpc kit nice little pod system from hydro there are a range of different colors also you can get these 510 caps as well in different colors and also you can purchase more pods i'm not sure what the price it's probably gonna be about like anywhere between eight pounds for two of the pods thereabouts you might get about three to twelve pound we don't know i haven't seen pod selling for this baby yet i only picked this up saturday so to say a big thank you to um dave singh over there in future vaping for giving me this device for the purpose of this review he's stocking the full range of colors on this device so we love to pick one up contact him on facebook or instagram get his address and go up there and see him and get yourself sorted out but it is a very nice device can't see any problems with it nice air venting on the bottom air venting venting holes on the bottom of the battery and it does feel nice nice good weight to it paint job and it's really second to none to tell you the truth it really is a nice paint job on it Let me just see if I can lock my power band in there as well. No. Should I put a lock on this so you don't accidentally turn the buttons off? Let me just check something. No. 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 You've got to be careful. Before you do fire this up, make sure you do check that you've not cranked up the wattage by accident. Come on, I should have put a lock on that. It's only tiny, but you know what I mean? But I'll look a lock, pressing them two buttons together, and just locking the whole thing. Stop you firing that by accident in a different wattage. Non adjustable airflow on this as well, but I have to say, the way it's set is set perfect for me, quite well. For the way I'd like to actually mount it along, so to kind of fell right in the fucking center line with that one for me personally. Yeah, man, it kicks well. So there you have it, my joy diamond VPC kit. If you're looking for something different, innovative, if you've got any of the other pods like the Jewel, Miley, and um, the Jewel, other, I can't remember the other one off the top of my head, but there's another pod system that fits into the adapter. And if you've got any of them pods already, like I says, Plugging that is straight to the adapter with extra battery life you will have off this baby, you can't go wrong. But I am getting a nice throw to stuff this, I really am. And that's only at 12 watts, man. So there you have it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you do manage to pick one of these babies up, let me know what your thoughts are of it. Get ready for the week, another week of madness on the road with the trucking and so forth. This is Moonshine Vapor out. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys with another review along the way shortly. Adios.